So I, ordinarily, I'm not a morning person, but I don't know what's happening today. I'm up. So got ready, got cute, about to film a haul. And I have a food delivery coming from Planet Organic. I had such issues with them, but apparently it's coming today at long last, finally. <laughs> story time so i made an online order with planet organic for the first time ordinarily i go to their physical store because there's one near me this was the worst online food delivery i have ever experienced in my life firstly i ordered it a week ago and you know like with sainsbury's or wherever else they give you a time slot planet organic did that but then sent me an email saying we don't have some of your items when those items are available in stock we'll let you know when your food is on its way so hold on you're just gonna keep all my order hostage for a few items I, and i was like i'm confused this makes no sense and they just didn't reply i think i'm just wondering who's on their customer service team this green juice on a positive note is delicious it's way better than mine because mine is very much like a healthy green juice straight up kale tasting this let me put the ingredients. It, this is what I need to be doing, but I feel like this is less healthy than the one that I'm attempting to make this week because this is a healthy week for me. I digress. They said, we'll let you know. Imagine not knowing when your food order is coming. Like it's, it's not clothes. See, this is why I end up ordering takeaway. I'm trying to meal prep. This is like a healthy week for me of meal prep, organic food deliveries because I shop straight organic now when I can. So I responded and said, well, I can't plan my life around a food order. It's wild that you haven't given me a definitive date. When is the food coming? It's not even about the missing items. Like normally with Sainsbury's or other places, they just give you a voucher and they're like, oh, those items weren't there. Just take the money back. Like they either refund you or they give you an alternative if you selected that option. This was the most interesting thing ever. So I was like, I can't plan my, my life around a food order, but bear in mind, the delivery was supposed to come last Tuesday. I had plans to be away on Saturday, meaning not in London. So when I was like normal places, refund you for the items that aren't available they then didn't respond and did next day delivery i obviously wasn't there like i was not home so imagine with everything else they slightly communicated and then when it came to the actual shipping they just did next day delivery all of a sudden i was like wow is this what you're saying and then when i asked them how that's not possible i'm not even home you've been keeping me up in the air this whole time about my order and now I'm just doing the next day delivery. Long story short, I came home to find my order on the floor. It was on my doorstep. They just left it there. I do not recommend shopping with Planet Organic. This was, it's just so shocking because the communication wasn't there. It was just very much, they do what they want to do, but they have some elite stuff on their website. Yeah, on this here food journey, I thought, let me dabble, but maybe I need to stick to the basics, you know? I did find this very cool. As I told you, the food was on the doorstep, but they had ice packs and I don't know, it's interesting with being more, you know, environmentally friendly. Who knew that we could have paper ice packs? I mean, when you know better, you do better. So this was really cool. So the food was surrounded in this. So genuinely, when I took it out, as you saw, it's frozen. So I don't feel like I'll get Sam and Ella because it genuinely, it was packaged very well. Like nothing I've ever seen before. Sainsbury's absolutely don't do that. You have to, <laughs> it's every man for themselves. But they are reliable time-wise. Um, yeah, and excuse my dirty surface, I just feel like when you're putting food away and meal prepping, I have to continuously spray because things get messy. And my nails as well, hideous. With meal prep, they get so blatantly dirty. So sorry if I offend anyone. Mm.
doesn't look very appetizing, but healthy. I am having a little snack. It is 1 a.m. but it's not, you know, it's not that big. Just a little handful of rice. And I'm having the same for breakfast. Yep, I got the snoop wine again. Don't be alarmed. I know that the food was on the floor, but have you received a food order from Sainsbury's? They rush you to the point where you have to throw things just anywhere. And it was such a big delivery that I was like, oh my gosh. And he was like, do you need help? There was nothing he could do. There was nowhere I could put it. So I ended up putting it on the floor for a split second. But don't worry, my floors are clean. So I had last night's dinner for breakfast. How do you guys feel about breakfast food? Are you those people that it has to be like oats or eggs or you don't consider it breakfast? Because on this food journey, I feel your most important meal of the day is your most nutritious meal. So I, I don't care what I eat at any time of day, as long as it's nutrient dense. You know, I use chickpea rice. Even the type of chicken that I buy isn't the regular chicken. It's like organic and nitrate free. There's just a lot I've been researching. Um, so that's why I got it specifically from Planet Organic. Grass fed meat is a tough to find. Um, so yeah, that's what I had for breakfast. And then after I put all my groceries away, I'm heading out. So I've looked up a bunch of recipes, vegan, and otherwise and um yeah that's the type of stuff i'm cooking these days and this cauliflower um cheese thing it tastes like cheese but i'm going to use things like nutritional yeast almond milk almond flour to give it the same texture as cheese and see how that goes and then for me i'm noticing different things about myself on this here food journey like my food habits when i'm drunk when I'm, you know, that time of the month or even just, I get hangry. So I think meal prep is best for me. So I'm gonna meal prep some pasta. A couple things in the week, I'm gonna make soup so that I have so much variety. I don't like eating the same stuff. Um, like how you saw, I ate last night's dinner for breakfast, but I added some stuff, celery, avocado, things I would never normally before. But I'm a changed woman. So yeah, just a little meal prep and also just, cutting things up and putting them in the freezer so that it makes cooking easier. I genuinely, I love cooking. I don't like cleaning. I would rather have a cleaner than a chef. Why would I know? And I'm so grateful for both food deliveries this week. It's just a blessing to be able to order food like that. Honestly, what a time to be alive. And I need to head out. So I'm gonna do all this stuff, have a little snacky snack, cauliflower snack. And yeah.
exciting that it actually lifts. <gasps> like a real pizza base. Oh, I'm breaking it. I haven't had counters in about two years. I get buttons or Snickers normally. I've been missing out. So good. And because the soup is so flavorful, I didn't add anything to the wild rice. Mm. Yo, 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 that's good. Hell? Stunning. This doesn't look very appetizing, but there's this sauce that I got in my delivery that's amazing. Some avocado chili situation, some rocket, wild rice and kimchi. Honestly, fire. So, just got back from Battersea Power Station. I don't know if you guys have been. Best thing ever. I went out with my best friend. We went to a pancake place. Um, and my godson. The architecture of Battersea Power Station is the most soul cleansing place. I love it. And then it's like, smells amazing. It's like they have diffusers in every corner. It's the most, I just, it's a peaceful. I like shopping online. I don't like shopping in physical stores. I went to the reformation there as well and it was like hives. As soon as I didn't even need to step in, I could see from the corner, I was like, this isn't as good as online, but we had the best time. I had an American style breakfast, as you saw, even though it was 2 p.m. And then we grabbed a Joe and the juice. I put mine in the fridge, I'm only having it now. We definitely had Cheetos as well when we got back. One day I will shake this crisp prediction. And also I had some wild rice and chicken. Trust me, it doesn't look good. It's so nice. And because of, because I feel I, I have an aversion to grain, wild rice is a better option, a better, a better choice of grain, apparently, rather than white rice or brown rice. That's the word on the street. So yeah, that's what I ate today. And I love the fact that I consciously incorporate vegetables now. I don't know what kind of life I was living, but my plate was beige. That's all I know. That's the most African thing. Like there was no color in my plate. So I'm happy to be diversifying my portfolio. I'm gonna check back in tomorrow with what I'm eating. I think I have a date tomorrow, so we'll see. The hangover cure. I wash my hands, can't even wait to sit down. Um, yeah, so that was everything I eat in a week. I find these videos so informative. It's just like a personal food diary and I can learn about different foods that are for me, different foods that aren't, new recipes, things that I would never cook before. I really am, um, I do have these bursts of wanting junk food and I'm trying to understand like what point of my mood that happens because if you look at boss man's shirt, his shirt is stained. You should not be eating in an establishment like that. But I'm just like, hungover, who cares? Give me the chicken wrap. Oh, what's in those new chicken snack wraps? What's in the new what's chicken snack? What's in the new chicken wraps? Crispy chicken, fresh satis. Um, 
so fun doing these videos and thank you for watching and see you soon it's so miserable in london it's raining it's pouring the old man is snoring